Well, hello there, everybody. It is Blake. Welcome back to another super exciting, spooky, fun Halloween themed video. If you came here because of the title of this video and you're not subscribed, welcome to my channel. Make sure that you click that subscribe button wherever it is around me and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well to be notified every single time that I upload a brand new video, which is going to be really often because Halloween is coming up sooner than we know it, you guys. And I'm going to be posting a brand new Halloween hunting vlog and who knows what else DIYs, fun craft videos, all fun kinds of Halloween themed videos coming up every single week until we get to Halloween in October. So I have tons of exciting content coming. So make sure you guys are subscribed and that you have the notifications turned on to see every single time that I upload a brand new video. And if you're a regular returning subscriber of mine, welcome back to my channel, you guys. How are you doing? Leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know how your week has been. Mine has been great. If you watched part one of this video already, which was our Halloween hunting vlog, we went to so many different stores throughout the week, you guys. And I didn't realize how much stuff that I had actually bought. And then of course, when I set everything up here on the table and the floor because there was so much stuff, I realized, wow, I bought way too many things, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because they're all amazing Halloween things, but I couldn't fit them all into that one video that I made before. So I was like, I have to make a second part. I have to make an official Halloween haul video already. We're here in the middle of August and I'm making a full on Halloween hunting haul. Like that's crazy. That just means that I have found so many awesome pieces that I'm so excited to add to my collection. And I'm so excited to share with you guys so you can see exactly what I bought. So because the vlog that I made was already so long, that's why I had to make this second part that is just strictly a haul. So without further ado, let's get into this, you guys. This is gonna be a full Halloween haul of all the places that I went to this week, including Bath and Body Works, Home Sense, Winners, Marshalls, Spirit Halloween, the Dollar Store, like amazing stuff at the Dollar Store, you guys. There's gonna be so many fun things here and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. I'm gonna do my best to try and remember where I bought these things and like for how much money and stuff. If I don't remember everything, I'm so sorry, but I'm pretty sure I left the price tags on almost everything so that I could show you guys how much the things were in case you are interested in that. And again, just for reference, I am up here in Canada, so it's a lot different than what they offer down in the States, unfortunately. If you guys are from the States and you're watching this, we don't have as many amazing stores as what you have down there. We don't have like TJ Maxx or At Home or Target or all the fun like stores that I've seen everyone doing their Halloween hunts at. We don't got those stores. We have limited offerings, but I think that I have made do with what we have up here because of the amount of stuff that I have to show you guys. So like I said, without further ado, let's officially get into my first real Halloween haul of the 2021 Halloween season. I'm having some tea in my cute Halloween mug with a black hat on it. So fun. So one of the first stores that I visited this week on Tuesday, I believe it was, was Bath and Body Works, you guys. I got an emailed coupon late Monday night at like two in the morning saying today only candles 750. So the single wick candles at a regular, I think 1450 were on sale for only 750, which is a savings of $7. And that rarely happens. I bought a whole bunch of them a couple weeks ago at like regular price, I think, because they were the fall scents. And I was like, Ooh, amazing. I have a coupon. Let me get some of these candles. So I went back on Tuesday and I bought six more of these candles because I knew I needed to stock up on the fun Halloween scents and it was such a good deal that I knew I had to do it. So let's go in the bag and see what we have. We have this pumpkin carving one, which is my favorite scent for 2021. It smells so good. This is literally like the fall scent. In case you guys haven't smelled this one and you're interested in like a scent of fall, I say this one. I've seen a lot of other people online say leaves, which I also think is a beautiful scent. But for me, this one just has like the fall Halloween scent. I don't remember what the notes are in it, but there's definitely like, I think toasted pumpkin seeds and something about brown sugar, I'm pretty sure, but it's such an amazing scent. So I actually ended up purchasing three of these candles because they are so good and I didn't want to run out. So I have a big three wick of it, but I had to stock up on some single wicks since they were on sale. So I got three of the pumpkin carving ones. And then the other three that I got, one of them here is a wicked apple, which is that one that smells like the caramel apple lollipops to me. It smells so good. I love it so much. The next one here is ghoul friend, which I don't actually have any ghoul friend candle yet this year. I didn't buy the big three wick of it, but it's cute. It's more like subtle. It's not really like a Halloween scent, I would say. It's just like a cute, pretty, like florally kind of fragrance. It's nice and sweet. The packaging on this one is really cute. It's like the little girl skeleton cameo, which is fun. And then to go with that one, I got the vampire blood single wick as well, which is the male cameo. So if you put them side by side, they're like looking at each other, which is really cute. And the vampire blood is something about dark Transylvanian plum or something. Very nice. So, so excited to add these single wick candles to my collection now. Pumpkin carving is my number one go-to for the season. So I'm glad that I stocked up on that. 
and the other ones are just nice little bonuses to have as well. So that's everything that I got from Bath & Body Works this week. Next up here, I have a few things that I purchased from Winners Home Sense, which is kind of like the same idea as the American Home Goods. TJ Maxx, it's the same like company that owns them. So first up in here, I have this beautiful little statue. I'm obsessed with this piece. I don't know what this is, if it's like plastic or it doesn't even say what the material actually is, but whatever it is, it's cute. This is a little black cat sitting beside this pumpkin that says, Happy Halloween. It was $12.99, I believe. Yes, $12.99 here from Winners. It's such a cute piece. I love it so much. In case you guys don't know, if you aren't subscribed to me or haven't seen yet, I have three little black cats that you may hear scurrying and running around playing with their little Halloween toys that we got them last week. I'm excited to add this piece to my collection. And then also that night from HomeSense, I purchased this little silicone tray for like cookies or brownies or whatever you want it to be, I guess. It's just silicone baking mold and spatula. This is the brand Spooked. And if you guys can see here, there's a bat, a little jack-o'-lantern with a witch hat, a skeleton, another jack-o'-lantern, another jack-o'-lantern, and then a little ghost. And this set was $7.99. And then the little spatula has these three pumpkins on it. I love this guy here at the top. He is so cute. I love it. So definitely excited to bake with that now. And then my next trip to Winners and Home Sense, I got even more fun things. Lots of glassware in this bag. We got this cute mug that says poison on it. Love this. It's a nice big round mug. It's quite deep as well, which is fun. So because it's very like large here and like deep here, it's like almost like a good chicken noodle soup mug too, or like a fun pumpkin soup mug. I feel like that'd be really cute. Like the little cauldron down there. And this is from the brand Halloween. Harvest Greens Studio, I guess is what it is. Designed in England, which is cute. And the mug here was $4.99, which is not a bad price at all. So it just says poison here on the one side, nothing printed on this side. And it's also like kind of textured too, which is cute. So you'll always have a good grip on it when you're drinking your coffee, your tea. And then next up from HomeSense, I purchased this little tray that says Halloween on it with this dapper looking skeleton in a top hat and this spooky jack-o'-lantern down here. I don't know what this is. It doesn't even say like specifically what it is. It just says designed in England, stone dishwasher and microwave safe. So I'm not sure if it's like a little spoon rest or like a snack tray or you put candy corn on it or whatever, but I saw it and I thought it was beautiful. I saw it actually last week in my shopping haul and I didn't buy it just because I was like, oh, that's fun. I don't need it. And then I regretted it right after. And I was like, you know what? If I see that again in store, I'm going to have to pick up that piece. And I saw it in store and lo and behold, I bought it. So this piece here was $9.99 from HomeSense and I love it so much. And then to kind of partner with that piece, I got this spoon rest here. If you guys can see, it has this same jack-o'-lantern imagery as on that little tray. And it says trick or treat on it, which is so cute. I love that. Definitely a lot of fun. And this was also $4.99. So a good price for it. I love the black, it's gonna look great in my kitchen. If you watched last week's Halloween hunting video and haul, you'll know that I bought a white spoon rest that says rest in peace. And I saw this black one as well. And I was like, you know what? You can never have too many spoon rests. When one gets dirty, I can pull out the other one. That was my justification for it. So excited to add this to my collection now. And then lastly, from this Winners and Home Sense, I got this piece here that I actually didn't really see in the Halloween section. It was more so like at the checkout as you're walking through. So I'm not sure if somebody like put it there just because, or if it was like actually meant to be there. But I saw it and I was like, I love this piece. I hadn't seen it yet anywhere else at any other home sensor winners. It was my very first time seeing it. And I was like, I'm gonna get it and then like think on it. And then if I don't love it, I can return it. I don't wanna not get it and then regret it and then go back to get it at some point and it be gone. So I was like, I'll just buy it. I'll think about it. If I love it, I'll keep it. If I don't love it, I'll just return it. But I ended up falling in love with it and I love it so much. And it fits so nicely here with my home decor. And it is this stunning snow globe, you guys. So you may have already seen this in the vlog if you watched the vlog portion of the video, but it is so pretty. It's a raven on this stack of skulls on top of a stack of books. So the books say curses, brews, and spells. So very like witchy, gothic kind of thing. And then they're on the open book with the skull heads and then the little raven on the top with some black glitter confetti inside. And then it also makes music. So it's so fun. I love it. This piece was $19.99. And since I bought this piece, I've been to Winners and Home Sense a couple times and I haven't seen this one again. So I'm like, I'm glad that I did buy it when I did because I wouldn't want to like regret not getting it, like I said. So excited to have that in my collection now. I love it so much. It's such a beautiful piece. Next up here is some stuff that I actually ordered from online from Amazon. And it came here super quickly because I'm a Prime member. So I got it within, it was actually single day shipping. I got it within one day. So I ordered it at like two in the morning in one of my late night shopping hauls online. And then it arrived the same day before 10 p.m. And I was like, wonderful, that's awesome. The first thing in here is this Amaretti syrup. 
And this is the pumpkin spice flavor, which is so fun. I bought a syrup last year, I think it was from Tarani, and it was just like pumpkin pie flavored syrup. But I was like, I really want pumpkin spice, like that extra like nutmeggy goodness. And this one here from Amoretti was on sale for like $17 or something. So I'm wondering if this one is gonna be similar to what the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte syrup is. I don't typically drink coffee, but I do love pumpkin spice steamed milk. So I'm gonna try out this with some steamed milk and see how it tastes. It also comes with a pump, which is amazing as well because the Tarani ones don't come with pumps and I had to buy a pump separately for that. So excited to have this now. Can't wait to try it out and see how it is. Let me know if you guys want like a full pumpkin spice steamed milk review here on the channel because I can definitely do that if you guys are interested. Next up here in the box from Amazon, I got this book. I saw this online and it seems so cute, you guys. This is a new publication for this year. It is the Haunted Mansion book. And the interesting thing, when I was looking at it, I thought it was gonna be like the song because I do have another children's book for Haunted Mansion and it's the Grim Grinning Ghosts song and it comes with like a little soundtrack of it. But this is completely different. This is like its own little story, which I'm so excited for because it's not something that is like known. It's like a fully brand new, like imagined tale of the Haunted Mansion. So I haven't read it yet. I have no idea what it's truly about or how it ends or anything, but I'm really excited to have this and take a read. I'll read it to my nephew and see if he likes it, but really, really cute. I think this was like $7 or something on Amazon. So if you guys love the Haunted Mansion like me or just little golden books in general, check out this book. It's definitely worth it. Next up here, I have some cleaning products, which we all love. So we don't usually have the Mrs. Myers brand up here in Canada, unfortunately. And I always see online every fall and Halloween, Christmas season, there's tons of amazing scents that Mrs. Myers is putting out. And I'm always so jealous. I'm like, why don't we have those up in Canada? And then last year for Christmas time, we ended up getting a couple different scents. And I was like, this is amazing. This is incredible. I love that for us. So I was looking online this year to see because I know that they always do their fall scents as well. And I saw on Amazon that we have this scent up here in Canada now and I had to buy it. And I think they were like $5 a bottle for it, but it's the apple cider scent Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Limited Edition Dish Soap. It smells so good, you guys. I had to open one to smell it. I haven't washed any dishes with it yet, but I just wanted to smell it. I'm very congested from an allergy attack right now, but it smells good through that anyways. It just smells so delicious and so folly and fun and you have to buy them in a two pack anyways. So I was like, you know what? The more the merrier. If it's apple cider scented dish soap, I'm all for it. And I love it. I also ordered the Mrs. Meyers apple cider scented like spray, the cleaning spray, but it hasn't arrived yet. It won't arrive until Sunday, unfortunately, but that's okay because I know that it's coming. And if it smells exactly the same as that, then I know I'm gonna love it. So I might have to stock up on more of those before they sell out on Amazon because I really do love them. And then the last thing here from Amazon that I purchased is something that I've seen online a lot as well. And I saw them, I think on a few TikToks and I was like, no, those are really, really cute. Let me see like if those are available on Amazon or like where they're from. And I found some, I'm sure you guys have seen these before in like everyone's videos, but I don't have them yet. They are plastic bats. You can't even really tell what they look like through the package here but they are like the little wall decor bats. So it's like that. And then you can fold up the wings and then they come with a little like sticky tape that goes on the side there. And you like tape it up against the wall and it looks like there's little bats flying all along your wall. And they're so cute. I think this package of 48 of them was like $7. So definitely affordable. They're really cute. And they're all various sizes too. There's some like big ones, some really tiny ones. So you can do some pretty fun themed bat room or like wall decor accessories if you like stagger them out nicely and stuff. So I'm really excited to have these. They may be like a staple of my decor now just because our living room is all Hocus Pocus themed anyways. And we kind of have like a blank wall there on the one side. So I'm like, if we put some bats around the one frame there, it could look really, really cool. So I'm excited to try out these guys now and see how they are, can't wait. And that was everything that I got from Amazon. Mm delicious tea. So next up here now, you guys, these things are gonna be things that I didn't actually purchase myself. Brandon purchased these for us. They are some fun home decor kitchen pieces that I'm really excited to share with you guys. So Brandon went up to his family cabin a few hours away and on his way home, he decided to stop in at a HomeSense Winners to see what fun fall things they had there. And he scored on these next few things I'm gonna show you guys. I had never seen them before until after he had purchased them. And then I saw them all over the Facebook groups and I was like, we really scored with these items. They're so beautiful. I'm so excited for them. I'm so happy that he like went in there and stopped there and FaceTimed me and he's like, do we like these? Do we like them? And I'm like, yes, we love those. Please get a set for us to have. So let me show you guys. I'm not gonna pull out 
every single piece of them. I'm just gonna show you one from each thing, but to give you guys a visual of what they are, they are the Royal Stafford Made in England dishware. They are dishwasher and microwave safe, which is an amazing thing. And they are these stunning plates. You guys, look at this. If you guys can pick up the quality from the ring light, hopefully. They are so beautiful. I'm obsessed with these. They're a haunted house. If you see up here, it says 1666. There's a witch in the window. There's some ghosts. There's a broom. There's a black cat. There's a jack-o'-lantern. And then around the rim of the plates here are jack-o'-lanterns. And it's so pretty. It's such a gorgeous design. These were only $4.99 each for these small plates. So these are like the little side plates that you would have either like pumpkin pie on or like some small desserts or like a small helping of food. And then to go with those, we also got the large dinner plates. Look how big these are, you guys. I have a big head and these plates are large. So I am so excited to have these. They're the exact same design as the smaller ones, but still just absolutely incredible. Like I'm obsessed with these so much. Like I said, we'd never seen them before any other home senses and winners that we had been to, which was quite a few because we were going like multiple times a week. And as soon as he bought these, then I went on Facebook into the groups and I saw like people were actually posting these saying how amazing they were. And like these apparently are going for crazy prices on eBay now, which is just insane. Don't even get me started on the scalpers buying out and reselling because I hate that so much, but I'm so excited to have these now in my collection. So we have the large plates, the smaller plates, and the bowls, you guys. Yes, look how cute these bowls are. Again, exact same design. Jack-o'-lanterns all around the rim of the bowl, the same imagery on the inside, and the bowls were also only $4.99 each. Don't know if I mentioned or not, these large plates were $5.99 each. So we got four large plates, four of the bowls, and then four of the smaller plates. And I am so excited now because this is such a beautiful collection. Our other regular plates that we do have are just plain white. So I mean, replacing those with this is absolutely A-OK -okay with me because these are so beautiful and I'm so happy to have these now. Thank you so much to Brandon for picking these up for us. We love them and our happy haunted kitchen is getting even better every day. And then also from that same trip to the Home Sense and Winners where he got the plates, he got us a couple more things as well inside this cute little box here. There is this jar, which I love. It says trick or treat. We got a witch's hat, a jack-o'-lantern, a bat, and a little cauldron. And if you remember, it goes with that mug that I purchased earlier. So it's so exciting. A cute little matching set here. So you can use this for like sugar, tea, coffee, whatever kind of things you want to put in here. Spells and potions if you want to, like whatever you want to do. So cute. And this was $7.99 for this one. And this is also designed in England. England is popping off with the good Halloween stuff, you guys. I love these pieces. They are so much fun. So we got us that little jar. And then this last piece here is another mug. Look at this, witch's brew. So we got a witch hat, the jack-o'-lantern, and a little cauldron. And this, again, matching with this poison one. So obsessed, these are so cute. This mug here was also only $4.99 and they're so cute. It's like a little his and his coffee cup set, which is so sweet. So I love those so much. Thank you to Brandon again for stopping and picking those up for us. They are beautiful. And then you guys, the last item that he purchased on his little shopping trip without me is such a fun piece. We had actually seen this at one of our local winners stores and we fell in love with it. And we were like, you know what? We don't need it. Like the cats already have multiple beds. They won't need it. They won't know the difference. And then we like hummed and hawed and thought about it after we had already left and like didn't get it. And then we were like, like, you know what, we should have got it. <laughs> and then I'd seen online people in the Facebook groups and stuff posting their cats on it. And I was like, oh my gosh, Brandon, why didn't we get it? It's so cute. So when he was at that Winner's Home Sense store a few hours away, when he was FaceTiming me, he went to the pet section and they had this bed and he's like, I'm gonna get it. And I was like, thank you. It is this Jack Skellington Nightmare Before Christmas pet bed. I think it's like dog specific just because of this. I don't think my cats will love that, but this piece here actually detaches from the bed and then it becomes like a separate dog toy, which is absolutely adorable. But it is a Jack Skellington large size pet bed. Like you could fit maybe two and a half cats in here. That's weird. You could fit two cats in here for sure. <laughs> but then the Jack head also pulls out so you can wash that separately or just have like this as a regular pillow. Like we could literally take this out and use this as a human pillow if we wanted to be like that. So I'm obsessed with this. It's so cute. The outside here is all like stripey, like Jack's tuxedo. And the fun thing about this is that they actually had a square version and a round version. The square version was cute, but Jack's head was also a square, which looked really, really strange. So we went with the round one because Jack's head is round and it just fits better. And this piece here was $29.99. 
So I'm obsessed with it. After I'd seen everyone else's pictures and stuff on the Facebook groups, that really like locked it in for me. And I was like, we have to find that wherever we can. And I'm so glad that he did. So the cats don't know about it yet. It's still a surprise for them because I've been keeping it in storage while I was getting ready to film this video. But now that we are officially filming this video, I can pull it out for them and show it to them. They'll love it. And with that, that was our last item from Spirit Halloween, you guys. Lots of cute stuff that I ended up purchasing. My only complaint is that they didn't have as many Haunted Mansion or Beetlejuice things as what I had seen released online. But of course the store literally just opened so I can't complain too much. I know that I really want a few of the Haunted Mansion pieces and they only had the one Madame Leota display sign, which was kind of pricey. So I'm gonna wait for a coupon before I buy that to fit in with our Haunted Mansion bathroom theme. And then they do have a couple new Beetlejuice pieces that I want as well for our Beetlejuice bedroom. But they didn't really have much in terms of like the home decor pieces that I was looking for. So it's just a matter of me being patient and waiting until the stores receive more stock in, which is fine with me because that means I get to go back and visit Spirit more often. So I am happy with what I purchased though. It was a nice like introduction to the Spirit 2021 Halloween season. And now next up here, I have this fun bag from EB Games, which some of you guys might be like, what the heck, EB Games? It's Halloween themed, you guys, don't worry. I make sure that I do it all, make sure that it's Halloween themed for you guys. When we were down in Vancouver the other day, we were walking down the street and there was an EB Games that we had passed and I was like, let me just run in and see if they have any fun Funko Pops. And they did, so I ended up purchasing a couple, but I'm gonna show you guys the one that I got that's specifically Halloween themed, because I don't need you guys coming for me and saying like, that's not Halloween decor, because it kind of is. It is the Office Stanley Hudson Funko Pop number 1145. This is the 2021 Summer Convention Limited Edition Funko. And this is Stanley Hudson in his samurai costume. If you guys watch The Office, this is either from season seven, episode six, or season six, episode seven. The episode is called Costume Party. And the whole like crew in the office is wearing Halloween costumes and stuff. And Stanley is wearing a samurai costume, which is really cute. So it was a summer convention exclusive. As soon as I saw it, I was like, you know what? I need to add this one to my collection. And I did. And he was $17.99 for the Edge premium platinum membership card or whatever it is, the thing that I have. So yeah, so excited to add him to my collection now. He's really cute. And like I said, I made sure that it stayed with the Halloween theming because he's in the Halloween costume. So if you guys know The Office and you're fans of The Office, hopefully you know what that is. If you're not, you can just skip that part of the video, sorry. <laughs> Then next up here, I have this cute little Hot Topic bag. So my friend John that we hung out with yesterday downtown, he had actually gone shopping earlier on in the week and he went to a mall that had a Hot Topic and he texted me when he saw this item and he's like, do you have this? Do you want this? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, please pick it up for me. I love it so much. So he got me the Trick or Treat. Again, hitting it back to Trick or Treat, you guys, my fave. This is the Sam Funko Pop. This is number 1,121 and it's Pop Movies Hot Topic Exclusive Sam Unmatched. So this is a little bit different than the other version. He doesn't have the burlap mask on. So I love him so much. He is so cute. I have the other version of him that was the Spirit Halloween exclusive. When he's sitting down with like the bag of candy on the little stump or whatever it is with the jack-o'-lantern beside him, I have that one. And then the other Spirit Halloween exclusive, I believe as well, of him just like standing there with the lollipop or the candy bar in his hand, but he has his mask on. So this one is different than that one because he doesn't have his mask on. So if you guys don't know what Sam looks like under the mask and you haven't seen Trick or Treat, spoiler alert, sorry. This is what he looks like with his mask on. This is what he looks like with his mask off. So he's just such a cute little like demon. Oh yeah, see there he is right there with his mask on. So sweet. I love him. And he was $15 at Hot Topic. So excited to have him now. Okay, and then winding down our haul, you guys, these are the items that I picked up today. So yes, that's why I'm wearing the same outfit as in my Halloween hunting vlog, if you watched that one, because I'm literally filming this here at two in the morning wearing the same clothes that I wore during my Halloween hunt. So let's start off with the first store that we kind of like hit up. This is the dollar store, yes! This was the Dollarama and they actually had, surprisingly, some fun Halloween things. And again, these are not necessarily like Halloween decor items, so y'all can't get mad at me in the comments. They're just Halloween themed things and things that I'm excited to have, okay? Let me have something. So I got some Halloween candy. I love candy so much and I saw these things and was like, I need them. And now that I'm filming this video, I can actually open them and enjoy them. But the first thing here is Halloween Shapes Reese Peanut Butter Bars. And I love Reese Peanut Butter Cups so much. So there is Reese Peanut Butter Pumpkins and more Reese Peanut Butter Pumpkins. I'm not sure if these ones are white chocolate or if they're just orange. And these are just like the original ones, but I love Reese Peanut Butter Cups so much. And these taste even better because they're pumpkins. So stoked to have those. Next up here, I have these Kraft Caramels. And the reason that I got these is because I'm gonna make some delicious caramel apple cookies. I found a recipe a few years ago and I actually made it then. 
and I've like forgotten about it. And then I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, memory coming, flooding back, caramel apple cookies. So you actually use like packages of instant apple cider drink mix in the cookie dough recipe. And then you form them into balls and put these chewy caramels in the middle of the balls of dough. And as they bake, the caramel like oozes into the cookie dough and they're so, so good. And of course the apple cider infused into the cookie dough makes it so delicious. So uh, if you guys are interested in that, look up that recipe on Google, they're so delicious. So that's why I got these caramels is to make those caramel apple cookies. And the last candy item that I got is this little bag here of Palmer's Ghostly Goodies. And I specifically bought these for the Double Crisp Monster Money. These are my favorites so much. They're like the Crunch Bar. They're just like, I'm not a huge fan of like regular chocolate, but these ones do it for me, guys. They got like the Rice Krispies or whatever it is in them. And they're so good. Not a huge fan of just like chocolatey flavored pumpkin pals, whatever those are, just like solid milk chocolate. And the Creamy Caramel Cups are like hit and miss for me. So it depends, but those Double Crisp Monster Monies are the ones that are good for me. So this bag here was three fifty. And then next up from the dollar store, there's this little craft kit that I saw and I was like, that's really cute. I want to get that just for fun. It is a bats and cats craft kit. So I'm not sure if it literally comes with like every single thing that's here on this display image or like what the actual pieces are. Oh, it says here on the back. So it's 20 foam shapes, 230 foam stickers, holy moly, 10 tinsel stems, 20 gem sheets, and the instruction sheet. No glue needed for the bats and cats accessory kit. So it's really cute. It was four bucks. I'm excited. I love bats so much. If you guys don't know, if I haven't said that in this video already, but I love bats so much. And of course I have three black cats here at home. So this kit spoke to me. That's why I got it. And then lastly, from this dollar store here, more bats. It's just this cute little bat plushie. This wasn't in the aisle or anything, but when we went to pay up at cash, there was these baskets sitting up there full of Halloween merchandise. And I saw these little bats and I was like, I need to grab one of those. So this was $3, I believe. And he's just like a cute little gray bat. And he's glow in the dark, apparently like his eyes and his little stars and his ears and wings and everything. And he's, he's just cute. A fun little bat accessory to have. I love him. So that was everything from the dollar store. And then one of our last items here that we have, I filmed this in the vlog. So if you guys have not watched that already, Make sure that you watch that, please. But I got some more dish towels, you guys. I really didn't need any more dish towels because I have so many and I've already bought like four or five sets this Halloween season so far and we're still in August. But I love the tea towels so much. The dish towels, they're just, I can't, they're so cute. I saw these ones at HomeSense and I just fell in love with them because our kitchen is Disney themed. Surprise, surprise, not like horror themed or scary themed, but it's just Disney themed. And I figured these would fit in perfectly with the Disney theme. They are these Mickey Mouse Boo tea towels. So when Brandon was actually a few hours away at the other home sense, he saw some like fall Disney ones. They were just like Mickey Mouse with some pumpkins around him, but they weren't like actually Halloween. And then I saw these and I was like, these are Halloween ones. So there's orange Mickeys, jack-o'-lanterns, little ghosts and bats and spider webs. And it says Boo. And you got Mickey's like scared looking face there. They are so cute. And they were $9.99 there at HomeSense. And I'm so happy to have these now in my collection. They'll fit in so perfectly. Can't wait to use these. They'll be great. And then lastly, I think this is the last item that I have for this haul, you guys. We went over to Shoppers Drug Mart to see if they had any of the Halloween Squishmallows in yet, which they didn't. I was disappointed, but I did go to the card section because I was getting a card for my friend's engagement party and I saw these and I'd never seen these before. So I'm not sure if they're new or if I've just never had the opportunity to see them before, but they are Halloween countdown calendars, you guys. And these were $3.99 each. And it says how it works. Lift a flap to reveal a fun surprise and count down the 13 days of Halloween. Count down the days to Halloween, trick-or-treating, a costume party, or more. So you can actually use it for like whatever kind of countdown you want it to be, but specifically like Halloween. So you would start it whatever 13 days is before Halloween. And the imagery on these are just so cute. So I got this one for myself, which I love so much. You got like a creature from the Black Lagoon. You got skeletons, Frankenstein, witches, cauldrons, black cats, bats, ghosts all kinds of fun imagery there. And then Brandon got this one for himself. So this one here is like cemetery, spooky haunted house, do zombies like Halloween? Like I'm not even sure what kind of things are inside under the flaps, if they're like jokes or if they're riddles or they're just cute pictures. I have no idea, but they're $3.99. And if it's a fun little experience to have for the Halloween season, I'm all for it. So definitely excited to try those out once we get to 13 days before Halloween, it'll be awesome. So yes, with that, you guys, that is surprisingly, I'm like looking around thinking, did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? No. I'm I'm pretty sure that I have shown you guys every item that I purchased this week. Yes, like I said, this week. That's only like five days, five or six days of, of Halloween hunting and shopping, which is so much stuff. Crazy, but 
again, so worth it. Amazing, I can't believe that I had to film a whole separate video, but I guess that's just the joy of having a lot of things to show you guys, which is totally fine by me. So anyways, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys had as much fun watching as I enjoyed filming it for you because I had tons of fun. I really, really do enjoy making these videos for you guys. So I hope that you enjoy watching them at home and hopefully you've had like a nice relaxing time watching this, just kicked back and relaxed and enjoyed it. So yes, that's it. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Click that subscribe button wherever that is around me. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well to be notified every single time that I upload a brand new video, which is gonna be a lot. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I have new Halloween content coming up every single week here on YouTube, whether that's a Halloween hunting vlog or a Halloween haul like this one or a Halloween craft DIY or whatever it is. There's gonna be brand new Halloween themed content coming up every single week until Halloween. So we still got like two more months of fun Halloween content for you guys so hopefully you click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified every time so that you can see all my new posts that I have coming up. Don't forget to also leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know what your favorite item is that I purchased in this haul. I don't even know if I can pick a favorite because everything's my favorite which is why I bought it but let me know what your guys's favorite item is down below by telling me in the comment section and we can chat down there. So that's gonna be it for this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time I will see you all very soon. Have a good one. Bye.